Today we'll be exploring a vital yet often overlooked aspect of blogging and SEO, internal linking. And if you're wondering why it's worth your time to understand and implement internal linking strategies, well, I am here to demystify this topic and show you the benefits that are just a hyperlink away. Welcome to episode seven of this series titled 25 Things I Do to Grow My Blogging Business. We're on pillar two, SEO. I'm Leslie Peterson and I help bloggers grow their business consistently and with a plan. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel if this video helps you. So in the last video, I covered an overview of our blog post update checklist. You can grab that for free from the link below. And today we're deep diving into one of those items on the checklist that are critical for success, internal linking. First things first though, what exactly is an internal link? Well, it's the process of creating hyperlinks within your blog that connect one page on your site to another page on the same site. It's like building a web where each thread leads to more valuable content all within your own website. Internal linking is crucial for several reasons. First, it aids in navigation, guiding your readers to more content that they might find interesting. It helps define the architecture and hierarchy of your website. And most importantly, it helps spread link juice or link equity around your website, improving your ranking potential with the search engines. Think of it like casting a net. The wider and more interconnected it is, the more you're gonna catch. Search engine algorithms crawl your website following links to understand the relationship and the value of content. That's how they work. Internal links help search engines understand the content and relevance of your pages, and they can effectively distribute page authority throughout your entire site. When done right, internal linking can significantly boost your SEO, making your pages more visible on the search engine result pages. It's like giving search engines a roadmap of your site, showing them the most important stops along the way. But SEO isn't the only reason to use internal linking. It's also about enhancing the user experience. Internal links keep users on your site longer by providing them with more relevant content, and this decreases your bounce rate and increases the chances of conversion or engagement. Now imagine your blog is a well-organized library. If a reader picks up a book, or in this case a blog post, and finds pointers to other related books they might be interested in, they're gonna spend more time exploring. Well, that's exactly what good internal linking does. So how do you make the most out of your internal linking strategy? Well, here are a few best practices. Use natural, relevant anchor texts that give a clear idea of the linked pages content. Link from high authority pillar pages to spread the link juice effectively, but linking from support posts up to pillar pages bi-directionally can help too. Use deep links that point to specific relevant pages, not just your homepage or your content uh, contact page, and regularly check for and fix any broken internal links. Internal linking is a powerful tool for improving your blog's SEO and enhancing the user experience. So by understanding its importance and implementing thoughtful strategies, you can create a web of interlinked content that boosts your visibility and keeps your readers engaged. Don't underestimate the power of a well-placed hyperlink. It can be the key to unlocking your blog's full potential.